Giants strong safety net BERH he made several positive plays in limited playing time on defense in the seven games prior to the Giants' Week 8 bye, such as his sack of Seahawks QB Russell Wilson in Week 7. Some of coordinator Steve Spagnuolo's most creative calls have involved BERH as a hybrid linebacker safety, either spying the QB, sometimes blitzing, keeping the offense off balance and bringing a playmaker down closer to the ball. But on Sunday, as the Giants' defense surrendered 51 points to the Rams, BERH saw only six snaps on defense even as the starters surrendered five plays of 35-yard gains or more, including 52-yard and 67-yard TD passes. It is just another example of coach Ben McAdoo's head-scratching non-adjustments coming out of the bye from rookie QB Davis Webb remaining inactive, to running back Paul Perkins returning healthy but not seeing a single carry, to BERHE staying on the sidelines as the defense flailed despite the Giants being terribly short-handed at linebacker and in need of variety and playmakers. BERAG last Friday agreed Spagnolis' use of him this season was putting him in a good position to succeed. BERAG played the same type of hybrid role in college at San Diego State. It helps me not always being 15 to 16 yards back, helps reading the run, BERAG said. Or sometimes, I'm QB spying. Julio Cortez at BERAGHASNT been perfect. He has struggled in pass coverage at times. Still, the way the Giants' defense is playing, it's unusual that McAdoo and Spagnola wouldn't promote a playmaker, even mid-game, when nothing is working. I like to make plays, BERH he said of the edge he has brought in just 39 defensive snaps this season. So how does BERH get more opportunities keep making the plays, he said. No update on Rabbit McAdoo was uncommonly busy on Monday because he attended the funeral of Joan Tisch in Manhattan. The coach opened his conference call with a tribute to Tish beginning We lost a great giant this week. Julio Cortez app so McAdoo had no update on the status of corner Janoris Jenkins, who remains suspended indefinitely. Linebacker Jonathan Casillas said last week he expected Jenkins' suspension to last one game, but that's up to McAdoo. I'll meet with him when I get a minute, the coach said. The Giants said notables in attendance at Tish's funeral included Giants co-owner John Mara, numerous other members of the Mara family, GM Jerry Reese, Eli Manning, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, former Commissioner Paul Taliaboo, Jets CEO and Chairman Christopher Johnson, Patriots owner Robert Kraft, and Mets owner Fred Wilpon. So how bad was IT some statistics, courtesy of the Giants, on just how bad Sunday's loss stacks up historically the Giants are 17-04 at home, both for the first time since 1980, Sunday's 34-point loss 5,117 was the Giants' worst defeat since a 380 shutout at Carolina on September 22, 2013, but they hadn't lost this badly at home since a 373 loss to Green Bay on November 15, 1998. This was the Giants' worst loss ever at MetLife Stadium specifically, though, eclipsing a 4,010 defeat to Indianapolis on November 3, 2014. The Rams' 51 points were the most by a Giants opponent since that 5,249 shootout in New Orleans on November 28, 2015, but it was the highest point total they've allowed at home since a 5,221 loss to Cleveland on December 12, 1964. That was also the last home game in which the Giants trailed by at least 38 points, as they did when they were down to the Rams. 4,810, at one point Sunday. The grades close your eyes pro football focus stats on the Giants' loss to the Rams were mostly ugly, too. Corner Ross Cockrell ended up with five receptions allowed on seven targets for 84 yards and a two-count, with one pass defended, but PFF named him responsible for letting Robert Woods' 52-yard TD on third 33 get off the ground by getting eliminated by Rams left tackle Andrew Whitworth. Landon Collins, who played maybe his worst game of the past two seasons, also was hit with two catches surrendered for 111 yards and a TD. The Giants' defense, meanwhile, was credited with zero hits on Rams QB Jared Goff. Whitworth, the Rams' left tackle that Jerry Reese did and t even pursue in free agency, allowed zero pressures on 22 piss blocks. You can't make it up, PFF said Eli Manning had a league-leading 22% eight of his passes dropped on Sunday but also was inaccurate on five of his seven throws 20 yards downfield.
Under pressure, Manning was 1 of 8 for 14 yards and a 39.6 passer rating. Orleans Darkwig gained 51 of his 71 rushing yards after contact and forced three missed tackles. Tight end Red Ellison, a new father, received his best run blocking grade of the season 89.1. Rookie edge defender Avery Moss graded highest of all Giants D lineman 80.9, with four run stops and two QB hurries.